Hi, I'm Keith Cross with MMORPG.com, and I'm talking to John Vellis here from Perfect World International. A free-to-play microtransaction models, how you do the business. Mm -hmm. um, so I guess you want to talk about how that works and uh, what's what's your guys' take on it? How's, how does Perfect World uh, do microtransactions? So, I mean, a lot of people, when they hear free-to-play, they, they come to the conclusion that, oh, this is just another free-to-play company that's trying to suck all the money out of my bank account. <laughs> and you're partially right, actually. We do want your money. <laughs> um, but it's not as malicious as it sounds. Um, basically, uh, free-to-play, although you know it, it has the word free, and it's really just a more flexible way for you to pay for your gaming experience. We have some players, actually a, a large majority of our players, who play our games, and they never pay a dime, and they enjoy every minute of their experience. Um, while there are some, uh, a few select individuals who decide to invest a lot of money into these games. And as a result, we can have these great services and great games at no cost to a lot of users. But it's really all about time versus money. Um, there are some people who have all the time in the world, and there are some people who have all the money in the world. Um, so, for example, let's say you're a college student, or you're in between jobs, and you have all the time in the world. You can spend a lot of time in-game, earning a lot of in-game currency. And with that in-game currency, you can purchase either cash shop items or microtransaction currency itself, which sounds a little bit crazy, and I'll get to it in a second. But uh, let's say you have no time in the world and all the money in the world. That's fine. You take your money, you buy some cash up items, and you can either catch up to somebody else, maybe a friend who has more time than you do, or you can even purchase microtransaction items and sell them through the auction house to other players for in-game coin. Okay. And what's even crazier than that is if I want to, I could purchase our microtransaction currency, sell that actual currency within the auction house, and then somebody else who doesn't have the ability to pay can go purchase that microtransaction currency with in-game coin and then purchase whatever they want. So we really have a, a really flexible economy and a really flexible system for people to get cash up items. So whether you're a paying user or not, these items are accessible to you one way or another. Okay. Um, now, I know we weren't going to talk about too much in numbers, but just, I have to ask, do you guys know how many, roughly, how, um, how many of your players uh, don't bother, don't pay anything at all? Yes. Or, or, so never paid? And I can't go into the you know exact right. uh, fine detail numbers, but... <laughs> I can say that a vast majority of our players do not pay to play our games, okay. and they really enjoy it. Yeah, that might come to a surprise to people, because I've been talking to some other people who, um, a few other companies who run free-to-play games, and they were saying that if they did a survey among their players, and um, you ask the player, how many people do you think are paying for this game, and, and it's usually around, you know, two-thirds, three-quarters of the players are paying, and it usually turns out to be that the paying players are in the minority, so it's, yeah. it's kind of an interesting thing for... Uh, for people to take note of, I guess. <laughs> yeah, I mean, even though there aren't that many people playing or paying, actually, uh, as cash shop users, um, they pay enough to, to support this business and support this business model. And um, it really is a unique and interesting business model, and I hope that more and more people become aware of it because uh, I really think that free-to-play games is the future, especially with the current state of the economy. A lot of people are, are trying to, they want to play a new game, but they don't want to buy a box or pay a subscription fee. And I think now is the perfect time to try a free-to-play game. Right. Well, I guess that, that about wraps it up. Uh, do you have any parting, uh, parting words or parting thoughts? Anything you want to get out there to the community? Or? Okay. Um, for anybody that hasn't played Perfect World, <laughs> I highly suggest you come and try it at www.perfectworld.com. It's, it's really only an hour of your time. Try it out. You don't like it, that's fine. You didn't pay a dime unless maybe you, you want to count your uh, internet fees or your bandwidth. <laughs> I don't know. But um, if you are a Perfect World fan and you are a Perfect World player, you know, thank you very much for all your support. Uh, you guys have been really great. All right, thanks. Thank you very much.